What's going on you guys? Welcome back. Uh, during the weekend I wasn't able to record any videos. I was on a road trip with my friend towards some uh, World War II monuments. Um, I was decorating the Christmas tree and I was uh, witnessing a football match and freezing my balls off as that was being noticed by the ESPN cameraman. But I did play some chess. Let's see how I did. So the first game that I wanted to talk about was this game against this guy from Poland, he's 1297. When I played this game this weekend, I was 1289. As you know, I lost some, uh, lost some games uh, last week and in, um, in the weekend also. So we're a little bit under the 1300s. But we have this situation, right? We have the queen over here and our G file is open. So I don't like this position over here. Um, but I also saw some opportunities and when you play a lot of puzzles as I do lately uh, you started to recognize uh, positions so what I did was taking this queen over here check checking the king um, now well as you see it's an inaccuracy but the um, King moved his position to the B file. What I did as a next move is threaten, threatening his, uh, his position by moving the rook to the B file. And after that he did a blunder, or he made a blunder. Because from this position, actually, it's made in 5. Did I recognize um, that sequence to mate him in 5? No, I did not, because the next thing I did was moving the queen to f, f2. Which he tried to defend by also an inaccuracy, by moving his rook to c2. Which made this made in 6. Next move I did was, okay, let's check him again by moving the queen to e1 which he had to defend by a mandatory uh, defend maneuver uh, by moving his rook back to c1. So the fun things about puzzles is that chess.com is trying to make you, letting you making you moves uh, that doesn't seem very logical. Um, but from this position, uh, it, of course it looks like uh, this, this rook is going to take my, my queen. But I did the move uh, rook to b2, which is actually a brilliant move, as you can uh, can see. So that's uh, that's quite fun, and obviously the uh, king is going to take this uh, this uh, this rook. But my next move is uh, queen to d2, which is uh, check again. Um, my opponent is trying to defend it by the rook again. And the next move I did is a great move uh, by moving my other rook from b um, to b, uh, b8. And from this point, it's a uh, mate, in, uh, mate in two. Um, I did a miss. Um, I did not uh, recognize the mate in two. Um, so my opponent had the chance to uh, check uh, check my king, I moved my king. Uh, he did an inaccuracy by moving his bishop. Um, the next move uh, was made in one, and I moved my uh, queen to the b file, and my opponent did not have an opportunity to um, to move his king anymore, and he lost, and we won. So that was nice. So when I started this analysis, it was I think from this point made in six or made in uh, made in five. Where is it? Over here. Uh, well, we made a brilliant move, two great moves, accuracy of eighty-two point five. And if we scroll to the bottom, to the bottom, now we always see, we see that we have a rating of fifteen fifty. Well, now I'm. Uh, Pretty glad with that. So, on to the next one. 
So the next game I played uh, during the weekend uh, was this game against this guy, woman, I don't know, from the US. He's 13, uh, 23, uh, and at that moment I was 12, 97. So we were coming back a little bit to the 1300s, which is uh, which is great. Um, we have this position, and the whole game was quite competitive. It was quite uh, even the whole uh, the whole time. Um, and at this moment I did an inaccuracy by moving my pawn from f7 to f, uh, f5 and uh, he took my pawn which was an inaccuracy apparently because I could take the pawn back with my rook uh, he has uh, a rook I have a rook he has a bishop I have a bishop but he was two pawns uh, two pawns up um, so I was a bit losing, um, as we can see. Um, he moved his um, king towards me to think to take my rook. So what I did was this move by checking him and targeting his um, his rook, which led to a great move by uh, by my opponent um, as he. Um, moved back his, uh, his his king but what I did was this I did not want to take his rook because he has two pawns up and I was afraid um, that I was going to lose because of that so I decided to, to really check him in every way possible uh, he did this blunder um, and from here it's uh, quite uh, quite funny I did a great move by checking him, he moved back, check, great move, check, great move, check, great move, check, great move, and again, and again, and again, and it's a draw. So am I proud of a draw? No, uh, I wanted to win of course, but it's fun to see that we uh, have eight great moves in a row at the end um, yeah, if we just uh, agree with each other that uh, that it hasn't been uh, an aim for a draw by checking him constantly no one will talk about that so um, it's fine 1400 uh, 1400 rating um, he as well um, a doubtful opening and a good middle game and good end game so that's uh, that's uh, that's good that's good let's see uh, what we have next so in this game I wanted to show uh, this position um, this guy from uh, from Argentina he's 13 33 um, and I was playing I was 12 97 um, I think the last game was also 12 97 so maybe maybe I lost in between or maybe it was the draw of course um, so we have this uh, this situation uh, over uh, over here. Somehow, I was feeling like that I did not want to take this uh, take this bishop with my pawn, and I moved my rook to c8, probably to target his um, his um, his queen. Because I thought that. He was going to take my um, knight and he blundered he took my pawn by his pawn i um yeah we can say that i took completely advantage of that during the during the whole game i took uh, with my knight he was moving his um his um his queen and we could take the bishop with our rook um, he was castling and from here uh, our position is uh, quite uh, quite dominant we, ha we have the c file we have the d file our uh, knight is uh, targeting some uh, some good uh, some good positions uh, our uh, bishop is laser beaming during the whole or uh, across the whole board so that's nice um, and he did an in inaccuracy and this is also a great move um, which I did is to target his uh, his rook and his queen so he had to choose 
he moved his queen, obviously, and we could take uh, take his uh, take his uh, take his rook. And some moves uh, moves further. Um, I was checking him. Yeah, and from here I wasn't very nice. I was coming with all my pieces. Um, yeah, and his position was uh, was quite lost. He also texted me in um, in on uh, on chess.com that. Uh, he was not going to win anymore and i said yeah maybe i will blunder and i think he said yeah i don't think so um which uh, was correct uh, he moved his queen i took his rook it's made in seven on this um in this position he moved his uh, king i came with the queen finally uh which is also good try i heard it is quite um quite good to uh, move your queen as late as possible in some situations which i did um, check again um, um, and this position the king and the queen are in one line so i move my bishop uh, which was defended by my rook and um, oh yeah this is a miss i took the queen uh, which is like a Pavlov reaction, right? So uh, the queen is uh, is free to take. So let's let's take the queen. But in this position, it's made in one, which I missed. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is made in one. So um, I did one move after that miss, um, but he also resigned. So if we go to the analysis of this game, um, uh, zero brilliance and uh, zero grades. Um, 70.5 accuracy, which is fine. And you really can see from the position that we started that, um, that we were winning uh, big time. So um, I think uh, it was 1250, I was rated as 1250, which is fine. Um, not what I hoped for because we want to move on from the 1300s of course and um, yeah he had a great opening but at the end uh, he was rated as 9, uh, 950. So the next game that I wanted to show you guys is this game. The fun thing about this game is uh, that at the end I was rated 1900 so that's really the thing that we're um, aiming on right. Um, so I was glad with that uh, rating but with some games you also need to have a little bit of luck as was the, as that was the case in, um, in during this uh, this uh, this game or um, yeah, you need an opponent that's maybe not um, um, playing as good as uh, he probably uh, can as he is 1268 it's a short game so i can um I can show you the whole uh, game in this uh, in this uh, in this game. It was really opening uh, by the books, uh, all quite correctly. Um, let's see from what moment, with which moment I was winning. I think I took his bishop with my queen. Yes, I did. Um, I did an inaccuracy at, at this moment. And that's bishop uh, to b5 uh, was the best in this case ah pushing the pawn because he couldn't take probably an i knight in this case and maybe even uh, push a little bit further with so i can take with my uh, my queen if he would do, done this and he had to back this um, this uh, this, uh, this knight okay um but we did that uh, moved that bishop and he did this and I uh, saw that if you just take in this in this position um, yeah, he takes back and um, the next move um, is just um, not free but it's um, it leads us to a rook up because he defends I take his uh, take his rook um, I move my knight he didn't see uh, what was going on I forked and he resigned, so um, which was also a great move. Um, yeah, and this was uh, my opponent was 1250 rated uh, by um, was rated 1250 by Chess.com, 
and we were rated as 1900 so that's uh, that's fun yeah and that's what i have for you uh, for you today thank you guys for watching this analysis kind of video if you're still watching just hit that subscribe button uh, leave a like and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this kind of uh, kind of content um, i see you in the next one thanks bye